All right, so we're no longer during the time of the ancient ocean of four to 500 million years ago. Instead, we're at the time of the great delta of 300 million years ago. Now, if you remember, back during the time of the ancient ocean, four to 500 million years ago, we stopped our boat next to an island, and we got out and took a nature hike, and we found the island was bare. There's virtually no life on land at that time. Maybe a few crab-like critters around the shoreline, something like that. But four to 500 million years ago, there was virtually no life on land. Now, instead, we visit the Great Delta forming in Illinois, and we find things have changed incredibly. Instead of being a barren, lifeless land, we find a great forest, a huge swamp, virtually a jungle on the ancient delta of 300 million years ago. We get out and we find ourselves walking between trees with trunks this big around, trees towering 100 feet or more over our heads, ferns and other plants we've never seen before filling the whole landscape around us to the point where we can't see more than a few feet in any direction and we're fighting our way through the vegetation. And as we walk, each step we take <laughs> sounds like that because we're walking in sticky, gooey mud. So imagine now you're walking through sticky, gooey mud, fighting your way through ferns and forests with big trees high over your head. That's what Illinois looked like about 300 million years ago on the floodplain of that ancient river system. So what's it like to take a hike through Illinois of 300 million years ago? We're walking in that sticky mud. We're pushing our way through ferns and greenery. We can hardly see where we're going. We have lofty trees towering over us. And there's the sounds of things moving around us. Worry, we are not alone here. Amphibians live in this great forest of 300 million years ago. And if you're thinking, like frogs and toads and salamanders? Well, not quite. Those particular types of amphibians didn't exist at that time. But some types of amphibians were here in Illinois. Some of them were very small. Some of them were quite large, reaching eight to 10 feet in length with teeth like alligators. So watch your step as we're walking around. Also in this ancient swamp forest of Illinois were some of the first reptiles and some of you are thinking, oh, dinosaurs. No, not yet. Little bitty guys, a foot, maybe two feet in length. Little reptiles, some of the early reptiles, some of the first reptiles wandering through the forest here, probably spending most of their time staying out of the way of those big amphibians with big teeth. Oh, and there's something else sharing the forest with us, too. As we walk through the woods and fight our way through the greenery, we find ourselves running into all sorts of bugs. Insects. There are insects all through this forest. And what type of insects? Well, I don't suppose that there are any cockroach fans out there. Cockroach fans are kind of hard to find, but maybe there's a few folks here and there. But we had cockroaches in Illinois at least this big, maybe even larger. And okay, if you're not a cockroach fan, we'll go on to something else. How about dragonflies? Dragonflies are my favorite bugs. Dragonflies are your friend. When dragonflies are babies, they live in the water and they eat baby mosquitoes. When they're adults, they live in the air and they eat adult mosquitoes. Well, you couldn't ask for a better friend than that, a bug that eats mosquitoes its whole life long. So dragonflies are good friends to us. They're beautiful insects. But there's something you should know about the dragonflies of 300 million years ago. Some of them were probably only this big. Some of them were this big. There were actually dragonflies two to maybe as much as three feet across. Can you imagine having a three-foot-wide dragonfly land on your head? 
And what would a three-foot dragonfly eat? Probably anything it wants, I'm not sure. But we did have these huge insects in the forests and the swamps of Illinois of 300 million years ago. And we do find fossils of these in Illinois. They are rare, but they have been found. But you know, the amphibians are neat, the reptiles are neat, the giant dragonflies are fun to think about, but really the important thing were the trees. And how do we know these trees were here? Well, we know the animals were here because we find fossils of the animals. We know the trees were here because when we dig in the rocks of Illinois, when we dig in the ancient shale that used to be mud, we find fossil. We find fossil leaves. We find millions and millions of fossil leaves, stems, branches, seed pods. Illinois is world famous for the tree fossils, for the plant fossils that have been found in the shale from the ancient delta of 300 million years ago. Millions of these fossils have been recovered, and they show us the type of life that was here in Illinois 300 million years ago. They tell us about the trees. We've actually found stumps this big around. We found logs from these ancient trees, and we found many, many, many leaves and branches and things like that. Now, these trees are very important. These trees live by the billions. These trees died by the billions, and these trees were buried by the billions as the river and its channels changed location. These trees were covered up in mud, which changed the shale. And what happened to all these billions of trees that lived and died and were buried in the mud of the delta swamp? They were changed into a substance that we call coal. <laughs> 